Hey everyone, I'm Boone. Today I'm going to show you how to create these cool matte marker callout animations inside of Adobe After Effects. So this is a really simple, versatile method. I'm going to be using nothing more than a single shape layer to create these. Now if you don't want to watch this tutorial, you can download the freebies following the link in the video description. I've included the project file in there as well as a free animation preset. And if you end up liking that animation preset, I have a premium version of this product. It contains 13 animation presets. They're really cool. Um, to apply those, you simply double click them. It'll create a new shape layer from scratch that has the animation set and ready to go. And they have some slider controls so you can customize them. And those include a few different designs, including circular, triangular, and square animations. Okay, let's get into the tutorial. I'll show you how these work. First thing I'm gonna do is create a new comp. Call this map marker callout. And I'm calling these map marker callouts, but you don't have to use them on maps exclusively. As you can see in some examples here, I've used them on photographs. Um, I've done some um, tracking in live video and used them in live video. They're very useful. Okay, so this comp is 1920 by 1080, 24 frames per second. I've set it to 30 seconds in length. That's all good. Now I'm gonna go grab the ellipse tool. I've set the fill to a solid white and I've turned the stroke off. Now I'm gonna create a new ellipse here by clicking and dragging, hold the shift key to constrain those proportions. And I wanna rename the layer real quick. Let's call this map marker callout 01. And then I'm gonna rename this group down here. I'm gonna call this point. So this will be the center of our little map marker. And to truly center this out, I'm gonna open up the transformation properties and I just need to zero out the position. That'll put it right smack dab in the middle. And to change the size, I'm gonna open up the path options and let's just put that at 50. I don't want it to be too big. Okay, so the point's set to go. Now I'm gonna grab the group, Control D or Command D to duplicate that. And I'm gonna rename this group Pulse. And I'm gonna drag that underneath the point and let's go grab the path of the pulse. And I'm gonna set it to the size that I want it to go like it's full size. So that's gonna be 1000. Okay, now to bring this to life, I'm gonna animate both the scale and the opacity of just the pulse uh, shape element. For that, just go down to the transformation properties of the pulse. And let's say we want this to be a one second animation. So go to the one second mark. Add a keyframe for scale and opacity. And this is the end point of our scale, so that keyframe's fine, but the opacity, I need to set that to zero. And then I'll go back to the beginning and we'll set the scale to zero. And the opacity, it doesn't have to start at 100. Um, that might look a little bad. So I'll start it off at like 80 or 85, and we can change it. So now, let's see what we got here. Okay, so that's, we created our first little ping here. Now a couple of things, I wanna make, change the animation, give it a little more kick so it shoots out faster and then I want it to repeat. So let's see what we can do here. To isolate these keyframes, I'm just gonna hit the U key. That's gonna show all the keyframes of the layer. First, let's give these some kick. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna grab all the keyframes, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease, and then go to the graph editor and with both of them selected, I'll grab the handle here. And this is the speed values. So it's gonna be, it's gonna go real fast here and then it's gonna slow down at the end. So check this out. Okay, so now it kicks out more. Now, we need to figure out how we're gonna make this loop. Ideally, I want this to be really simple to use. Um, I want it to loop, let's say we want it to loop endlessly. I wanna be able to control the speed. Um, I can make it faster or slower easily. Um, and I don't wanna deal with a lot of keyframes. So let's use some expressions here. Now I could obviously just go in here, copy these keyframes and then paste, 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 paste. But that's a little sloppy. So let me show you a cool way. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold the Alt key and first I'm gonna add an expression to scale. It's really, really easy, I love this expression. So you go to the language menu here, go to property, and then just loop it out right here, this loop out. And the cool thing is I don't even need to change anything because this is a sim really simple animation with two keyframes. Um, I don't need to change anything in the expression. And then I'm just gonna grab that, copy it, and then apply that to the opacity as well. Now the big thing to make this work here is I need to have the keyframes aligned at the end because if the keyframes aren't aligned, they're gonna be looping at different, at different paces and everything's not gonna sync up. So let's see what it looks like right now. Okay, that looks great. And if I zoom out, you see this is a 30 second comp and it'll just keep looping. And that's four keyframes, that's cool. Now, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I were to just throw this out of sync, let's move this keyframe by like two frames and see what happens. 
Now you're gonna see it's gonna to start to be a little weird. I mean, maybe that's the look you want, but then when it gets here, it starts to get all wonky. So just make sure that you've got these lined up. Speaking of which, to change the speed, I just grab these last keyframes. Let's get rid of those expressions. I don't wanna look at them anymore. Let's grab those last two keyframes. Let's say we want our, our ping of our map marker to go faster. We're just gonna you know, make this faster here. And then voila, this thing's going pretty fast. To slow it down, bring these out. And now we got that nice slow. Okay, I'll bring these back to one second. So you saw how easy that was to create. These are, these are fun and simple and super useful. Now let's say we wanna create a different look, something, something kind of similar but, but a little different. That's really easy as well. So I'm gonna duplicate this one and then let's look at number two. So, you, so I'm gonna turn number one off. So here's number two. Now watch how easy this is. I'm just gonna open up the contents and go down to the pulse. Let's mess with the pulse. So let's say I'm just gonna turn off the fill and turn on the stroke. And then right away I've got a different look there. Um, I can change the width of this stroke or I could even go down to, um, or I could go up to the point. I could do the same thing with the point. I can change that to a stroke. And now I've got a completely different look. Or I can change the size of the path here. So there you have it, some really cool, quick map marker callouts using nothing more than these shape layers. Man, I love shape layers. Now the free download comes with this tutorial project file as well as a free animation preset for Adobe After Effects. So let's take a closer look at how the animation preset works because it's just really, really cool. Now over here, I actually have 13 different animation presets and that's because this is the premium version of the map callout project. If you wanna check this out, I'll link to this in the video description as well. So if you end up liking the freebie, um, definitely come check these out because there's a bunch of cool little designs. It has, there's um, four different triangle looks, four square looks, and five uh, circle looks, all customizable. The freebie comes with this callout circle 01. So what I wanna do is I wanna bring this into my user presets folder. So first to find that, go to your documents folder go to Adobe, and then go to After Effects 2020. So since I created this in After Effects 2020, it's only gonna be, um, it's specifically made for this version and later versions. While it might work in previous versions, I don't really, um, I haven't designed it specifically to work there. So you can always test that out just to make sure. So here's the user presets folder. I'm gonna open this up, and now all I have to do is grab the preset and drag and drop. And here I have a new After Effects project open. I'm gonna go to Window, and just make sure you have effects and presets panel open. I'm gonna open that. And if you already had After Effects open, you might wanna to go to this panel menu here and then refresh the list so that your presets will show up. And at the top, you see animation presets. Just under that, you see user presets. And now I can see the preset has uh, populated here. So how do we apply this? Well, I'm gonna create a new comp. Let's do 1920 by 1080. So there's nothing in the comp as you can see here. And what's so cool about these is all you have to do is double click them and it's gonna create a shape layer from scratch. And if I play it back now, check it out. This animation is pretty much ready to go. But there are a number of customization options. So this is pretty big. Um, well, first of all, I can move this around. You can see here, and if I go to the align panel, it works with all the align tools. But what's really cool is if you select the layer and then open up your effect controls panel, there's a number of different control options here. So let's take a closer look at these. First is master scale. I can scale this up as much as I want, scale it down, and then I can control that point size as well. I can change the opacity of the pulse. If, I want to, if it's too strong for my taste, I can bring it down a little. And then I can change both the color of the point and the pulse. So let's bring this to red and then bring the pulse to like a lighter shade of red. And just like that, I've created this different look. So now this is ready to put on a map. I can um, put it in photographs or track it into live video, whatever I wanna do. Now a few things to be aware of. First of all, these were created in 1920 by 1080 comps. So don't be confused. If you create a new 4K comp, for example, let's go to 4K, and you go and you just apply one of these, it's gonna not be centered up because it's um, in that same position as with a 1920 by 1080 sequence, which is over here. But once again, um, no problem, just grab the shape layer and you can center that using the align tools. And then you can use your master scale to make that um, larger if you want. As these are shape layers, they're gonna stay crispy crisp with their sharp edges. 
The other thing you want to be aware of is if you're applying multiple shapes, you want to make sure that you don't have an existing shape layer selected because this is going to paste over that. So I ha if I have this marker selected here and then I double click another preset, it's going to drop a new one over it and, and it's just not very efficient and not a good way to work. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to deselect everything and then now double click that. It's going to create a new map marker element and now I can grab that one, bring it over, and customize it individually. And now, of course, if I wanna change the speed, I can grab a layer and hit keyboard shortcut U to show all the keyframes, and then grab those two end keyframes, and I can control the speed of these. So let's say I want one going really fast, and I want one going really slow. Voila. Speaking of shape layers, if you haven't seen my tutorial from last week, I, I looked at a plugin called Overlord that allows you to bring in vector files as shape layers. So if you work with Adobe Illustrator files at all, go check out that tutorial in that product. It's very cool. Okay, so they have it. Once again, both the links for the premium product and the freebies are available down in the video description. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this and get more freebies, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And if you want to see more map related content, go check out the Monday Maps playlist. Again, link in description. I'll see you in the next one.